Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and today we're going to be looking at this computer. Um, I tell you, this case has hold, held many computers over the last few years. This is a Pentium 2 system that I recently built. Um, it's the computer we used in last week's video in our Windows 95 D Lite video. I call this the ultimate Windows 95 computer. I've actually built the same system twice. Um, this is using a uh, Asus uh, branded motherboard with a 440LX uh, Intel chipset with a Pentium 2 300 in it. First time I built this system was uh, back in the earlier part of this year and I used it as a uh, as a uh, low powered Windows 98 PC. But then uh, someone offered me to trade this case for some for something I wanted, but I, that deal fell through. But during that time, I took this computer completely apart in anticipation of that. But about a week or two ago, I decided to put the system back together the way it was. So again, Pentium 2 300, 128 megabytes of RAM, a uh, Voodoo 3 video card, a Sound Blaster 16 Vibra sound card and an ISA slot, and an 80 gigabyte hard drive, which is enormous for this kind of system, but I keep a lot of data on here. Now, the first time I built this system a few months ago, I had this as a Windows 98 computer, which it ran great as, but you know what? I've already got this computer right here, the Carolina Flyer running Windows 98, and it runs it just fine. And it was kind of redundant having a uh, another computer right next to this running Windows 98. So I decided to change things up and make it into the ultimate Windows 95 PC with the uh, best era appropriate hardware that you could use for Windows 95. And of course I went with uh, Windows 95 D Lite, the uh, unofficial um, updated version of Windows 95, which... Um, I did a video about last week, if you want to check that out, go right ahead for uh, more information on the OS itself. But I decided um, for this week, why don't we just take a closer look at the computer itself that was running it. Okay, we have a CD-RW drive up here. Floppy drive, of course. This is an A open case, a little scuffed up. Then I added a Pentium 2 inside sticker and a design for Windows 95 sticker as well. Okay, here's the rear I.O. We've got PS2 mouse and keyboard, two USB 1 ports, two serial ports, one parallel port. And down here we have VGA out on the 3D Effects Voodoo 3 2000, a Netgear Ethernet card, and our Sound Blaster 16 Vibra in the very bottom slot. Okay, going handheld for this part of the video. And right here we have our very cheap and uh, probably dangerous power supply, but it works for the system just fine. There's our CD drive up there. There's our Pentium 2 300. There's really no way to get those cables out from uh, around it, so we'll just have to deal with it. There's our uh, 3D Effects Voodoo 3, the uh, network card, and the Sound Blaster. There's our enormous hard drive, floppy drive, and down in there is our 128 megs of RAM. Now the exact model number of this motherboard I uh, don't see it on here. Oh, here it is. It's a Asus uh, P2L97, released in, I believe, the latter part of 1997. Okay, let's uh, start them on up. Got Voodoo 3 2000. Yes, this also has a rather beefy PC speaker. Starting Windows 95, specifically 95D Lite. This is a very ideal uh, system for this kind of uh, t 
operating system. Okay, and I don't want to scan disk right now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll skip the network log on for now. And there is supposed to be sound, but um, sound wasn't on the right input. <laughs> that happens. There we go. There we go, Windows 95D. And of course, um, when you have a Pentium 2 or higher based uh, CPU in Windows 95, it detects it as a Pentium Pro. I've only had one Pentium Pro system in my entire life, and that was... Now this is for the... Uh, long, long time viewers of this channel, back in, this is going back to 2010, when I had the uh, Thriftstalgia computer, it had a Pentium Pro in it, and most I ever did with it was run Windows 3.1 on it, that was, yeah, I, that was not the best utilization of a Pentium Pro, but oh well. Okay, we have a 3D Effects Voodoo 3. So network card, sound card. I haven't tried a, a USB gamepad in 95D Lite yet. Because USB gamepads, um, they work great in Windows 98. You could use even a newer one and it will work in 98. But, it will not run on Windows 95. There's just absolutely no drivers for them. So I'm curious if um, d Light has anything uh, to support that. Probably not. But it's worth a try someday. Would make things a bit easier for me. And here's all the software I have on here. <laughs> and there's a lot. Remember, on these uh, type of systems, I like to install everything I can all at once. There's a hard drive, and for some reason, there's a glitch right here where it the uh, use space doesn't show up properly. So I don't know what the deal with that is. But here's the uh, part of the hard, the partition of the hard drive that has all my games and data. That way, if I have to reload the OS, I don't lose any of that. I also have Windows Media Player 7 installed on here. This is what came with Windows ME, but it runs on Windows 95 as well. And of course, when you first start it, it plays this little clip from a song by Beck called Beautiful Way, which I am not going to play because that would get this YouTube channel... Uh, in so much trouble it would make me uh, vomit. One thing I've always liked about this is the uh, skins. <laughs> Which are... That is just hideous looking. Of course I am recording this on the day of Halloween, so... We can just go with um, classic. Okay, let's try a game out, and by the way, this computer does run great with uh, DOS gaming. But we're going to be trying this, um, which I guess is technically a DOS game, Rayman Gold. So I'm going to put that in the CD drive. This is a CDRW drive, but I don't ever use this for recording. I just put it in here because it was beige and uh, matched the computer. It could play CDs. Okay, English. Do install. There we go. Let it do its thing. Okay, it's going to test my video card. We'll 
We'll do auto detection for the sound. Okay, looks good to me. Exit that. I do not want an online server because that would not work. <laughs> okay, let's uh, try it out. Let's turn the volume up a little. Original game, I guess. I thought I already did this. Huh. Well, this must be a separate game on here, so that's probably why it's doing this. Okay, that <laughs> I did not want that to close out. There we go. I do remember playing a uh, demo version of Rayman when I was about six years old. But I think that's the the extent of my Rayman um, experience. It's actually a pretty good game. I have played it a few times before. I really don't know why I don't play it more often, to be honest. Just gotta remember the controls. Okay, that took me back to the uh, overworld. I believe this is supposed to have CD audio. There it is. I don't have any weaponry uh, yet. It's a very colorful game, I have to admit. <laughs> that was way too easy. <laughs> Okay. Don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what a surprise here. That's uh, pretty much sums up my life as well. Okay, you can't jump on them. So all you can do is just avoid them. be a continue point. I can't seem to get over there. Oh, why did I hit the Windows key? Hey. 
and I'm dead. Guess I just won't worry about that whatever's in that cage for now. Uh, what? I thought I could jump on that purple thing. I guess not. The rules of this game are very unclear. I'm going to lose all my lives in this game just for being uh, dumb. You can punch with your fist. You need magic to do that? Hmm. Press the A button. Okay, it's the Alt key, not the actual A key. I really like this music. Yeah, it gave us a life, which I needed. There we go. Um, what, what, uh, what, 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 what happened? And now I'm back at the beginning. What a surprise. Uh, I do not like it when I get pushed back. I am not good at this game. There we go. Hey, I actually did something right for a change. Okay, I can't hit the fish. This game is going to take a lot of practice. Oh no. Okay, and that was my last life. 
I failed big time at this. Okay, so uh, this game was picked out for me to try on this computer by my lovely wife. And so I'm going to give it a try. I actually haven't played it since I was nine years old. The thing about these Tonka games is they are really good, but very crash happy on Windows. So we'll probably get an illegal operation in the middle of this, but oh well. It's worth a try anyway. Can't remember if we have to install it or not. Yes. Okay, don't need DirectX 5. Now, I remember the fun thing about this game, um, if it's what I'm thinking of, if it's the right game I'm thinking of, it has a track editor, so that's, stuff like that is always fun. Let me skip that. Hello, and welcome to Tonka Raceway. I'm Tonka Joe. To get right to the racing, you better sign in. Just type in your name, then click on the green flag. Hmm, Tonka Joe's a little bit bossy at times, I think. There we go. Hey there, motor fans. Welcome to the Tonka Raceway. I'm Tonka Joe, and I'm here to make sure you have a revving good time. Right now, we're in the announcer's booth. From here, we can see all the activities that are available at the raceway. Mm. Highlight one with your cursor, and I'll tell you what it does. Now, let's get ready to race. The Press Box. The Race Course Architect's Trailer. Upgrades Lab. The Press, the Starting Line. Mm, let's go here. The You want to design your own tracks, huh? Well, first, no, I thought this was the coffee house. You want to build on. Or you can load an existing track to modify it for Where's my coffee? coffee okay, I guess we're building a track. Um, can't do this without coffee, though, but we can try. So, uh... I don't want the jungle. Let's go with, um... A well, rule is okay. Now you're ready to lay out a new track. Click on a track piece on the game bar to pick it up. Then drop it on the map to place it. You can turn the track piece by clicking on it again. When you're all done, click OK to continue. Simple stuff. So we just uh, plop them down here. There we go. I'm getting the hang of it. Okay, let's see if we can build something uh, semi decent. Silo. <laughs> Those sad people aren't going to have any grain anymore. What a shame. But I got to, but I got to race my racing car. Who needs grain?
goes the windmill so no more electricity on this farm. windmill okay I think that's a ought to be a fun looking track here press one of the buttons on the game bar to find out more about it by the way to drop a track piece or a... Okay. I think I just have to hit this button. Oh. Oops. I... We may have lost our track. <laughs> or maybe not. Yeah, I did. I didn't. I was supposed to hit that button there. So we get to do this all over again because I'm a dum-dum. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I built another track off camera, and so, um, in fact, I think I like this one a little bit better than the last one anyway, so it probably worked out for the best, so now, this time, we'll hit this button, so we can actually save it. Alright, your track passed inspection. If you want to add some obstacles to it, use the buttons on the right. Click on the save button when you're ready to continue. Okay, some obstacles and scenery. Okay, we'll put some hay there. Hay there! <laughs> some trees. Okay, that ought to do well enough. Okay, what should we name this? Um, how about... Hmm... Hickville. <laughs> Just do a simple time trial. Okay. Now you need to pick a track to race on. Use the air we'll go down to two laps and we'll go with the track we just built. Use the arrows to select from the available vehicles and opponents. Okay, let's pick us a vehicle. Kind of like this one. played this game in probably over 20 years. And it's a miracle I still have the CD. These are the keys to drive and steer your Tonka Racer. Click well, it's okay a top and down. The race. When the light turns green, put the pedal to the metal. I hear that's illegal in a few states. Whoa, this is fast. <laughs> this is so fast. That'd be too fast. <laughs> yeah. I do not like I do not drive like this in real life, by the way. I know a few people who do. But I'm not one of those. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, this is so fast. Oh. I'm scared. <laughs> I don't think even NASCAR goes this fast. <laughs> No thanks, I, uh, I think I'm about to lose last night's supper doing that. Thanks, Chad. If you want, keep the tape rolling. I think we're about to have a news story. That's right, Tonka Joe. I just learned from race officials that we're looking at an award-winning driver. This driver just finished the fastest race ever, and I'm going to scoop all the other reports. Yeah, who's fast, all right. Well, congratulations. Be sure to check out your new award in the Hall of Records. You know, Jenna... No, my eyes are uh, still uh, going up and down, up and down, up and down. You must tell me all about them. I'll take notes. Why, sure. In the meantime, you should click on the starting line to prepare for another wild race. Um... Excuse me, folks. <gasps> Okay, one great thing about this computer is DOS gaming is extremely compatible. So let's uh, exit to DOS mode. There we go, loaded the Sound Blaster stuff, and we have plenty of uh, conventional memory to uh, mess around with. So we'll go to. Uh, My uh, DOS game directory. Okay, not sure if I've ever played this one or not on the channel. I've only played it a couple of times off camera. A game called Zargon. Okay, looks good to me. From what I recall, this game is uh, quite similar to uh, Jill of the Jungle. I thought there was uh, music in this game, maybe not. Interesting noises. I love this game already. No clue what that game is supposed to be. laser bullet or not. <laughs> that sounds so 90s. That really sounded 90s air. Saved while you're on the map level. Okay, we'll save. 
Apparently already had a game saved. <laughs> Gate key to pass. Okay, where's the next level? Ah. Strange new dimension. <coughs> Rapid fire. That's going to come in handy. Oh, I can walk on the clouds. Yeah, killing these guys was a lot easier now. I love the sound effects in this game. <laughs> that spring. Oh <laughs> yeah. Sound effects in this game are hilarious in every way. That's me when I have indigestion from too much pizza. Who knows where that could be? <laughs> I don't die before, before finding the key. Oh. That sounded like a 90s computer starting up. classroom for some reason. Okay, we can give this uh, computer a quick little MIDI test using uh, Passport.
Okay, I think that's uh, about all the show in this video. Um, probably should have shown some uh, glide-based uh, computer games, but I just uh, didn't have the time in this video. But I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, I really like this computer. Um, it's Like I said, it's pretty much the best hardware that you can reasonably have for Windows 95, especially using a, a modified version like this, um, 95D Lite. And so until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.